Welcome into the I-80 Boys preview and prediction video. We're talking about the Arkansas Razorbacks this season. I'll start us off with the offense. I'll talk a little bit about last year here. Last season was a tough one for uh, Sam Pittman. Um, four and eight. They were one and seven in conference. No bowl game last year. Uh, I'll come on here and say it. I had Arkansas winning seven or eight games last year. Boy, I was totally wrong there. Um, they're going to have to get it together this year. You know, last year... Averaging only 26.6 points per game. That was 69th in the country. Um, they only averaged, though, 325 yards per game, which was bottom 30th in the nation last year. So the offense was pretty ugly, um, which is kind of surprising because they had K.J. Jefferson back there. He's off the Central Florida now. They had uh, Raheem Sanders, Rocket Sanders, if you will. He's gone as well. So Arkansas, you know, they bring in new offensive uh, coordinator and uh, former head coach, Bobby Petrino, who's the coach there. So He's going to try to resurrect this offense. Um, you know anything about Bobby Petrino? That's Christian's favorite coach ever. Um, he, you know, he's he's had some success back in the day. It's been a long time. Um, say what you will about the guy. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what what happens here and if he can kind of turn this around and, and hopefully Sam Pittman can keep his job. Uh, we'll be honest here. I think he's on the hot seat this year. Um, but uh, the, the quarterback's going to be, from my understanding, is going to be this Taylon Green, Green kid. He's 6'6". He's a big dude, kind of like K.J. Jefferson. Um, he could run the ball, but, man, he's played a little bit, less than 60% completion percentage. Um, that's going to have to improve this year if Arkansas wants to get it together uh, uh, offensively. So at running back, they get back Rashad uh, Dubin. Dubion, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I don't name these people, so you go ahead and tell me I can't, you know, read in the comments. That's fine. That's a, that's an every video occurrence here. It seems like, but uh, you know, like I said, Rocket Sanders is gone offensively. They're going to have to be better. Um, and a lot of that I think falls on Bobby Petrino and the quarterback, to be honest with you, Christian at wide receiver though, they bring back most of their core. So that's a good thing. And they will need Andrew Armstrong and Tyrone Broden to step up. These are the two guys that are back. <laughs> Look, I, I don't know. I'm going to feel bad when we get into the prediction video about Arkansas here, but Offensively, they were bad last year. I don't know if they're going to get that much better considering some of the talent they did lose that didn't play well last year. Christian, I want you to kick it over. I'm going to kick it over to you, excuse me, for the defense here and, and let me know um, a little bit about this defense. Yeah, Chris, I mean, their defense wasn't you know terrible last year, right, by any stretch of the imagination. I think their defense held them in a lot of these games uh, last year, right? They finished ranked 46 in total defense. It, it didn't help last year, right, with the offense, like you were talking about, putting them in so many bad spots, a lot of three and outs, a lot of turnovers, and kind of keeping them on the field forever last year. Wears you down as as a defense, right? A lot of, and I'm just going to put a pin in this for a second here. I want to talk about this. There's a football game that just came out, EA Sports College Football 25, not affiliated, but we'd love to be. Um, a lot of people turn the football over, right? And so you can imagine when you turn the football over, you know, the defense gets worn down. That wear and tear system starts kind of playing into it. Kind of crazy. We're talking about a video game, right? But it, it's it's a real thing here. And you you get you get more of a feel for that, right? But look, let's, you know, with that being said, if you're over the age of 50 and you're like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Don't worry about it like Chris over there is. Uh, with that being said, let's look at the Hogs' defense this year, right? Look, up front, they're going to be led by defensive end Landon Jackson. He had six and a half sacks last year and 44 tackles, okay? Pretty, not not bad, right? He's kind of that uh, defensive end, edge rusher type there, so he did pretty good last year. He was the, I would say he's one of the bright spots for Arkansas's defense, right? Linebackers got a big transfer in from uh, Georgia in Xavion Sori. You know, he's going to look to lead him. He was a top 35 prospect coming out of high school, and he played very sparingly with the Bulldogs, right? But I, th I think he's going to be a good one for Arkansas. We see this year in, year out, uh, you know, from guys transferring out of Georgia that are uberly talented, go other places. It's not for lack of talent. It's just there's so much talent, you know, at Georgia that they they look other they look other places, right? Safeties, Jaden Johnson and Hudson Clark, they're going to lead this team, you know, but outside of them, you know, they're going to lead that secondary there. But outside of them, they need the corners to step up and produce, right? Look, I think overall Arkansas is going to be sound on defense, and I do think, you know, they upgraded from a talent standpoint from last offseason. I think this defense can be better than they were last year. I think they can crack inside of the top, you know, 35 for sure uh, from a defensive standpoint. With that being said, Chris, We'll segue over here to their, uh, you know, to their record prediction, and and I'll start us off here for this if you don't mind. I got them going five and seven, right? Five and seven, and it pains me to do this because I really like Sam Pittman. 
I think if, if Arkansas fans can kind of give him another year, as much as they may say, let's segue out of this, you know, like Chris said, you do have, and we'll talk about this a little bit later on, you do have a new offensive coordinator. you got a lot of things in a very pivotal year kind of coming down to it here for him. Let's get into the losses here. I think they're going to beat the brakes off Arkansas Pine Bluff, right? Community, uh, whatever, wherever that is, you know, <laughs> somewhere in Arkansas, probably. Hopefully, hopefully it's not like an online school, and I, I butchered that. But then, the, then the big game at Oklahoma State. Um, I think Oklahoma State will win that game. As much as I hate to say it, I think I think our boy old uh, Mike Gundy might have a couple of road beaters on the way to that game. You know what I mean? <laughs> We'll see. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, go look Go look up the video of Mike Gundy uh, talking about Ollie Gordon. But then uh, UAB, I think they beat them. Um, they got to go on the road to play at Auburn. I think I think Auburn's going to win that one. I think it'll be a close game, but I think Auburn will win that one. A&M, neutral site game. That, that's normally played at uh, AT&T Stadium in Dallas. I like Arkansas on that one, man. I don't know why. Okay. I think two good defenses, two uh, offenses that were got some question marks. I like Arkansas on it. Prove it year for uh, you know Pittman, Tennessee. Now, you know Tennessee is going to probably put up some points on them. LSU, same thing. Mississippi State going to be one of the worst teams in the SEC this year, in our opinion, or my opinion, anyways. Uh, I like Arkansas in that one. Old Miss, Texas, tough two game stretch right there. Sorry, can't I can't predict Arkansas is going to beat either one of them. Louisiana Tech. Nah, come on now, son. Arkansas is going to win. And then uh, finish the year off at Missouri. That's a really, really tough one there. I think Missouri will be having probably a lot more to play for maybe than Arkansas. So that'll be a very tough one to predict. But I still got Missouri in that one. Uh, Chris, I want to throw it back over to you. I want to see why I'm right. Um, uh, We're close. Uh, we're actually so close that I have them going five and seven. Um, Vegas got them right at five and a half. So we're right on that number. Um, like you said, Arkansas Pine Bluff better be a win. I you know, I, I could see a scenario where Arkansas maybe could beat Oklahoma State. I know that's early. Um, I'm really high on Oklahoma State this year, but the fact that it's at Boone Pickett Stadium, I, I'm leaning Oklahoma State there. UAB, you better beat them. Um, at Auburn, I have them dropping that game strictly because it's at Auburn. a and I have them dropping that one as well. I think that could be an interesting game, like you said. Tennessee, I don't think so. Now, I do have Arkansas beating LSU this year. I know that's kind of a surprise upset. Um, it, it's it's tough to beat everybody every single week. I'm not as high on LSU as most people that are this year, as we've talked about, but I do have Arkansas winning that game at Mississippi State. You better be able to beat them, one of the probably the worst teams, one of the two worst teams in the SEC this year. Old Miss, I don't think so. Texas, not a chance in hell. La Tech, you better beat them. And then I have them dropping the game at Mizzou at the end of the year. I'm really, really high on Missouri. So I have to stick with the script here. But, yeah, I have them going five and seven. I know that's probably – I don't know if that'll be enough to retain Bobby Petrino and Sam Pittman this year. But, Christian, I, I got a question for you here. Floor and ceiling this year for Arkansas. Floor, as much as it pains me to say, probably three, four wins. You know, just – I mean, looking at the schedule, like you said, um, you know – because I'm looking at like who I said they were going to beat. To me, a and is not a give-me game. No. You know, Mississippi State, as much as I say, hey, they're going to be one of the worst teams in the SEC, you know, projectively, you know, Arkansas probably will be kind of right there alongside of them. You know, I don't think that, but I think that a lot of pundits will probably say that. Um, so Mississippi State's not a give-me game either. Uh, you know, it could be even worse than that, Chris. I mean, honestly, yeah. if you lose all the games that they're – I mean, they're probably not going to be favored in too many of these games, especially – you know, after week uh, after week one, so uh, you know UAB might come in and clip them. You never know. Uh, hate saying it like that. La Tech. I mean, they might have a weird year where they do something. You just you never know in this. I would say ceiling wise, you know, if the offense comes out and Petrino gets them just a firing, um, six seven six seven wins. I mean that. Like I I. I I hate it, but I think every team in the SEC has gotten better this year, as, as does every team every year, right? But I, I really think a lot of these teams that they got to play are going to be pretty difficult. Oklahoma State, you know, like you said, Chris, I mean, that they could they could win that game, um, but it's on the road. It's a tough environment to play out there. I mean, it's, it's not an easy one. So I, they might be able to snag some wins throughout this uh, that they shouldn't. But, again, I, I think, like I'll say for this, and then I'll throw it back over to you, is – you know, what you want Sam Pittman to do, I don't know. 
right? I, I mean, with with where he's at and what they've got, I understand they've regressed last year. Give him a couple more years, and I rarely say that, right? I rarely say that because I really like Sam Pittman. I think what he does, first of all, he's a really likable guy, which is which is hard to find. But I think secondarily, you know, it, it does take a little bit of time, and we know what Arkansas has been, you know, prior to Pittman, and we know what they'll probably be post Pittman. So. Just give him a couple more years. I, I never say that. I understand if you're an Arkansas fan, you want to get back to relevancy. You want to get back to maybe knocking some guys off. But just let him let him kind of establish himself like a Mark Stoops kind of guy, you know, in the SEC. Let him kind of have that longevity there, and let's see what happens. Uh, Chris, I'll throw it over to you. Yeah, no, I I, I agree 100. I I think the floor is probably three wins. I mean, things could go really bad. They weren't a very good team last year, as I as I stated. Um, it's not like they have a ton of talent, like a LSU or a Missouri or, or, or anything like that, or a, a ton of pieces coming back. So that's the tough part. Is Bobby Tr Petrino going to make a huge difference? I don't know. Um, I, he, I, I think he's, I think he's kind of, he's been around a while. I don't know. I, I, I like I said, this was a very hard team to predict because I just don't think Arkansas is going to be that great. Now where I do agree with you a hundred percent is on Sam Pittman. I like him. I think he needs honestly to, to be there longer. Arkansas is not an easy place to win at. It, it's not. Um, you're in the SEC. Not that many people want to just go to Arkansas. This isn't the days of Darren McFadden and, and all those all those players. So I think it's going to be tough this year. As far as the ceiling goes, maybe I, I think if they make a bowl game would be huge. That, that's just where I'm at with it. Um, the schedule isn't particularly easy anyway. The A&M, Tennessee, LSU stretch. Then you got Ole Miss, Texas, and then Missouri at the end of the year. Uh, not easy by any means. Even the non-con, you got to go play at Oklahoma State. That's not easy for anybody either. So yeah, I would say six or seven wins, Christian. Um, yeah, I, I, I like I said, Sam Pittman, good coach. I think he just needs more time there, and that's where I'm at with Arkansas. 